explosives into rivers. I'm Greatness 685, the host of Greatness 685 tonight on the Emerald News Network. Right. Today, I would like to I would like to discuss a very important issue in rivers right now: shops. Is it just me, or have shops been going downhill lately? And I'm not just talking about one or two shops. I'm talking about over half of the, sh the shops in rivers. And the interesting thing is, it's not entirely the fault of the shop owners. Partly, the, some of the laws that have been passed lately, I'm going to uh, go into detail about that later. First, these laws, they have been causing people to neglect their shops, and that's just sucking the values out of the, out of the out of rivers, because rivers has always been known as a survival economy server. And if our economy crashes with lack of shop maintenance, then we are going to have a very big problem. So now about those laws. First of all, there is an old law. It's uh, pretty much from the from when shops were just created. It's if your shop either doesn't get business or you don't restock it for a certain amount of time, then it will be temporarily closed down. So, uh, so what happens here is th this gives players sort of motivation to keep the shops restocked and to advertise, which is great. But lately, the staff has not been enforcing it which is a problem because people started to take advantage of it. They did not restock their shops and they did not maintain their shops as much as they had before. And that that's not the uh, that's not entirely the shop owner negligence. It's mostly staff negligence for them not enforcing the law. But I'm going to tell you the truth here. The shop owner is at fault as well. It's just that when you don't enforce the law, cops, admins, listen to me right here. If you don't enforce the law, then people are just going to keep breaking it. Let that sink in. If you don't enforce the law, people are just going to keep breaking it. So, yeah, and the other law I want to go into detail is the the law that has been perfected by all the establishments. The staff absolutely loves this law, but in truth, it has a lot of flaws. That's right, we're talking about boss care here. Yeah. Boss care has so many flaws. It has more flaws than Jackson's house. I'm just going to put that there or <laughs> anywhere in that specific area. Anywhere in that specific area. It has more flaws than anywhere in that area. First flaw, people take advantage of it. When boss came was passed, it lasted about a full 24 hours before people started taking advantage of it. How they take advantage of it? Well, basically, you get bailouts from boss care. Those can be good, but they can also be bad. So basically, they wait for their bailouts to pass. And then when the staff member says, all right, we're closing down your shop, then they pick themselves up and they run over to that shop to restock it. That has happened before. It's not the first time that's happened. And it certainly won't be the last if boss care stays. So my solution, just a simple repeal and replace. There are so many other good laws that we could pass to replace boss care. And listen, the admins and staff members who passed this law, I'm going to tell you one thing. This is not your fault that, that these flaws passed you. In fact, I only discovered these flaws recently, a, a while after Bosco was passed. So, staff members, I want you to rethink this. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this, but after after you watch this, I want you to rethink Boss Care. So, the, ne the next thing 
is boss, even boss care isn't enforced that much. I, it, I mean, it's enforced more than that other law I was talking to you about, but it's still not enforced that much, which leads me to believe that there's a problem with the cops here. And there is. Cops, uh, it's rare to see a cop on. And uh, the only one right now is M the Beast OG, and we can't have one cop taking over the roles of three cops, or you're not going to get the enforcement that you need. So the result is disaster. So what's happening here is we have negligent staff members combined with negligent shop owners, staff members who don't know a good law when they see one, and and we also have Boss Boy 42 who thought of what seemed to be the best law that were, the best thing that would ever happen to Rivers, but instead it's only driving it further towards crashing. And listen, that's why I didn't endorse him for president. That's why I'm endorsing BMW Surfer, because BMW Surfer can fix this. He's done he's done it before. He can fix this. And but he's not the but he can't do it alone he needs your help and you know you guys I encourage you to to help each other out and we can fix this law and shop owners yes I'm talking to you shop owners restock your shops maintain your shops no matter no matter what the law does even if they say that it's okay if you don't maintain your shop then still maintain your shop because people go into your shop they see that it's not stocked they stock their shops and again we just have the economy crash so just a few last things you and so shop owners another thing you have to do better with service. I don't see much service. No, no benefits for going to a shop. With so many shops now in Rivers, people think, why should I go to this shop? It's nice to have some friendly competition between shops, as long as it doesn't get too out of hand. Just advertise and just go above and beyond. If if you have a little bit of friendly competition between shops, that is not only okay, it's amazing. And yeah, I encourage you to do that, but don't let it go too far, like I said. And a, another thing, if you see a boss care does not have any flaws, you're wrong. It has a lot of flaws. And if you do not see them, then you are just not like those negligent shop owners. And Boss Boy, I don't know what he was thinking passing this law, but he still passed it. So let's just do the best that we can to try to heal. That's all for tonight. Make sure to check out my Rivers blog post. I'm here. Take care.